Chef Salam, it's so nice to meet you, finally. You're yeah. the top restaurant in the country. Everybody that I know that eats here raves about the food over here, but they love you more than anything, so. Wallahi, I'm so lucky. It's I'm judged, yeah, my pleasure, <laughs> Habibi, in fact. It's amazing. First restaurant? This is the first, yeah. How long ago did you guys open? Almost seven years. Alhamdulillah. How did you decorate this place? How is there is there any reason you did what you did over here? Yeah, I put all my mom's stuff. Oh. I collect from her house. Oh. Yes, her home actually. Wow. I'm artist. Here you feel you are eating at your home with your mom, with your grandma, whatever, with family. It's also very important because in a restaurant, you're going to spend 10, 12, 14 hours a day there. Yes. If you make it like home, it'll, it'll be easier I for you to home. stay there. Yeah. Exactly. I know a lot of people say there's a lot of competition in Dubai. A lot. Yeah. What else do you do to let people know that Beit Maryam is here in Dubai? Come to Beit Maryam. Our food can go to all over the world. Plate and a nice um, presentation. Presentation. Mm, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Oh, I am yeah. so excited. I can't wait for that one. We have Mariam salad. Mariam salad, it's my mom's favorite because my mom, she loves beetroot, she loves yogurt, and she loves roca. Mm. Then I mix it all together in one place. Mm. 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 When you eat it, you know it's good for you. That's how it tastes. Mm. This is hummus. The cornerstone of every <laughs> <Yeah>. Levantian <laughs> table. Exactly, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And like, you know it's going to be nice <laughs> the second you put your, your spoon inside and get some of this homemade bread. Check this out, guys. Look at that. Homemade bread, warm and nice. <clears throat> bon appetit, sahteen. Mm. It's so creamy. And now olive oil just elevates the flavor, the clientele that you have, the customers that come in. Are they mainly from the UAE or mainly from no, all over the world? Dubai, it's a bring all the culture from all over the world. What was it like running a restaurant in Dubai? It's different level here. Mm. And uh, there is a space for everybody. And the easy country to open your business. See. Um, and that the competition make us to to do more and more, mm, you to know? To be better. To be better. You're always yes. on your toes. You want to yes. be like ahead, so. Exactly, amazing. yeah. When you cook, cook for your children. That's an amazing yeah. advice, yeah. really, it's true. When you yeah. cook for your children, you're very careful what you use. Exactly. You're careful how you prepare it. Then the people love the food. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is Fatit Timsakhan. So this is an invention of, of your mother? Yes, exactly. Wow. And now to have, oh, this is A lot of tomato, chicken, oh, so yogurt. Mm. And you got that crispy bread up on top and then you got those, those chopped up almonds as well. It just gives you the crisp and the crunch put together on top of the mellowness of the yogurt. Mm. I love what you said earlier when you were telling me how you consider your, the, the guests that come in as your family and you treat them that way and you cook for them as if your family cooks for you. And I love it because behind the camera, the family is actually sitting here, the, the next generation, and, and that's amazing. So they're involved in the business as well. And also the third generation come. Amazing. So that's four generations of Beit Maryam right here, which is homage to Maryam, your mother, mother who my mom, yeah. I'm assuming was just a phenomenal cook. She's amazing. It's such a pleasure to finally eat at the infamous Beit Maryam, which I have been hearing about for years. My pleasure. It's amazing. Mom. 